and let's try that again. Let's try playing Mike Tyson's Punch Out on the Stram. So this is not a new game. You know that. We've all we all know Mike Tyson's Punch Out. Not Punch Out featuring Mr. Dream. No, no, no one wants that. We want special guest Mike Tyson. We want a story of true victory. The road is not that long. Mike Tyson is waiting for our challenge, and we're going to give him that challenge. So, this is a little different from what we usually do on the stream. Usually we look at some, you know, obscure, newer games. Tonight I just want to play some Mike Tyson's Punch-Out! It's a fun game. It's always been one of my favorite games from the NES days up to now. I still play it again every once in a while. So I am not a, a speedrunner or anything like that. But I, I do like the game, so I just thought I'd try to play through it. We're Little Mac. Our record is 0-0. Zero, zero. Going up against Glass Joe. Record is 199. He's only won once. Supposedly, that was against the last boss in Super Punch-Out, Nick Bruiser. Though who can say if that's really true? So Glass Joe... It's not gonna do too much, really. M maybe he's biding his time. Waiting for just the right moment. That, I guess that was supposed to be the right moment. Turned out not to be. Someday, Glass Joe will find his moment. It'll be a glorious moment. It was not today, though. We go up to number two. We're taking on Von Kaiser, the German steel machine. Record 2313 is from Germany. 42. That's quite up there for a boxer, honestly. Not trying to be discriminatory or ageist. Just that you usually don't see boxers at that age in the ring. Von Kaiser looks very cocky, despite only being in the minor circuit. Maybe he knows something we don't. did not know something we didn't. I get the feeling it goes like that quite a lot for Von Kaiser. I don't know why he seems so cocky coming into this. But by beating him, we go up to number one, the title bout of the Minor Circuit. There are only three three boxers in the Minor Circuit. Well, four, consider, uh, including Mac. But before Mac went in, there are only three. It's not much of a circuit, really. Going up against Piston Honda, it was only one, he's only lost once. Well, maybe if he just stayed in the minor circuit, he really didn't have to face too much competition. Unfortunately for him, Little Mac has decided that he wants that minor circuit title. I think it's insulting calling it the minor circuit. Kind of makes it seem less than the than the other circuits. It shouldn't seem less, just you know, maybe not as experienced. The circuit for for boxers who maybe don't have the win loss records of oh of people in the majors that could be. There's nothing wrong with that. I think this, when you get a star that's supposed to represent you surprising the opponent, from that it seems that Piston Honda is surprised quite a lot. He's surprised all the time. See how many times I've surprised him so far? Again. He just does not see any of these punches coming.
Oh, maybe he sees these coming now, because he's blocking everything. You're asking why Little Mac is so small? Pro yeah, probably someone has mentioned it. It's so you can see the opponent. In the arcade, uh, Mac was a wi he had like a wireframe body, so you could see right through him. You could see the opponent. But this, you know, it's the NES. You can't do sprites very large or very elaborate. So Little Mac was small. He's tiny. It also works with the narrative of Mike Tyson's Punch Out in that Mac, the little underdog, is trying to work his way up and become the champ and face the ultimate opponent in Mike Tyson. So it works that way, too. By the way, th I'm using an emulator because my old NES just... It just does not work anymore. I tried everything, it does not work. The sound on this emulator seems like something's not quite right. It was working before, but eh, I don't know now. Anyway, we're the minor title holder. Gone up to the majors, the major circuit. Gone up, going up against Don Flamenco. He's won 22 times, though honestly I'm not sure how. Blenheim SA, I did blow on the cartridge. Blew it so many times, did not help. That cartridge is clean. I don't think it's the connector between the NES and the cartridge. The NES just does not want to turn on anymore. It had enough. It ha It's done a lot in its life. The NES had a hard life. I know there's a faster way of beating Don Flamenco, but I can't recall what it is, so we'll just do it like this. I don't know how this guy got up to the Majors. Must have charmed his way there. Did I blow on the NES itself? Yes, my breath is all over that console. Uh, one last attempt. Try to get to his feet, it did not work. Mario is forced to count the ten. Wonder, wonder when Mario got his referee's license. I hope he renews that regularly. You never know when you might need that again. Going up against King Hippo. King Hippo, aside from Mike Tyson, may be the most famous of competitors in Mike Tyson's Punch-Out due to his appearance in Captain N, the Game Master, on which he was a regular villain. You look completely different on the show. I don't know why they decided to color him blue. And have him actually talk, instead of just making these sounds that he does. King Hippo made it all the way to the major circuit, fooling people into trying to punch him in the face. He thought he was so clever. Somehow, no one ever tried to hit him in the stomach. He thought he was going to make it all the way to the top with that strategy, until he met Little Mac. Little Mac's shorter than him, of course he was going to go for the stomach. Great Tiger is from Bombay, India. He, uh, he brought magic into the major circuit of boxing. He uses magic teleporting punches. This apparently is not illegal in this promotion. So of course you probably would want to beat him before he actually pulls out the magic. He gives away what he's gonna do when the gem on his forehead flashes. He can't help it. If only he knew. He probably is not even aware that's happening. Red Bowser, why was King Hippo the villain as opposed to anyone else? I don't know why King Hippo was portrayed as a villain in Captain N. But he was alongside Eggplant Wizard, following the orders of Mother Brain. And they were all, you know, Mother Brain. Strong resemblance to how she appears in the actual Metroid games. 
in Captain N. Poor Great Tiger, he never got a chance to show how show how he can teleport around that ring using his, his Indian magic, as he does. How long have, you, have I been playing this game? Since I was, like, five, I think. It's been a while. Going up against Bald Bull from Turkey. He's quite large. The champion of the major circuit, he's much more physically intimidating <clears throat> than anyone else. I mean, you look at this guy and you wonder how someone like King Hippo or Don Flamenco could have possibly have gone up against him. Really, I would like to see some of these, some of the characters besides Little Mac actually going up against each other, because I don't see how they would match up. Man, there's some weird sound going on, I have to say. Hmm, I don't know why that is. The only thing I can think of is that open broadcast just shuts off Arrow and Windows. I don't know, maybe that had something to do with it. Uh-oh, Bull Charge coming up. Bald Bull is his own worst enemy. I mean, he'll knock you down in one hit if he gets you with it. But he just opens himself up to a, a, to a hit to the stomach. Yeah, that is some weird music going on right now. Jogging past the the illuminated New York City skyline at dusk or dawn, one of those. It's a beautiful sight. And it reminds Little Mac of his desire to win. To go to the top and win the title and compete in the dream fight against Mike Tyson. Who at the time, of course, was undefeated who was just tearing his way through real-life boxing. Piston Honda... Now, how did Piston Honda get ahead of us in the ranks? How did he do that? We've... I mean, maybe Little Mac took a vacation. Maybe he took a break, a hiatus, and has come back. And in the meantime, Piston Honda has had a surge, a victory surge, and has gotten ahead of him in the ranks, is now in the world circuit. Unfortunately, Little Mac is the major and minor title holder. He still holds those titles. No one has beaten Little Mac yet. Piston Honda may have, may have learned some new tricks. But I think the odds are against him. We could just do the same thing we did last time. He's not as surprised as much as he was, because we're not getting stars from it. Oh, there was a star. But at this point, I think Piston Honda is kind of expecting it. If you've never played Mike Tyson's Punch Out, which is probably unlikely, if we knock him down with star punches, we get a lot of points for doing that. Which, if you're going up against someone who you're trying to beat by decision after three rounds, I believe the way you do that is by the number of points you get. I don't think it has, any, it has to do with anything else. So, if you were trying to say beat Piston Honda by decision for some reason, you'd be going for all of the points. Oh, 
I wasn't even paying attention to the time. We actually went to the second round, and now we can see what happens when we get to the end of the round. We get some advice from Max Trainer, Doc Lewis, who tells us we should dodge Piston Honda's punches and then counterpunch. It's a strong, strong strategy, one that would not have occurred to us at this point. Piston Honda being... I was about to say extremely racist, but this was made by Nintendo, was made by Japanese people, so I, th I guess they're just making fun of themselves as well. That's true, you can heal mid-round. However, we don't need to do it against Piston Honda at this time. As we can see, we have quite a lot of life. Piston Honda, though, he is still getting up. He is still going. He's got heart. He's got desire. He wants this just as much as Mac. It's just a shame he's not a very good boxer. See, now I'm hurt, and he's not actually doing anything. I have to be able to dodge his punches in order to get better. Oh, a bold move from Honda. If he gets up at one, he gets a lot of health back, but... Oh, he's learned to dodge those. All right, I think we're in trouble now. That is the trade-off that comes that all of the uh, all of the opponents can do. If they get up at one, they get a lot of health, but they will also instantly go down to an uppercut if we hit them with it. Well, Piston Honda put up a good fight. I cannot. I cannot cast any kind of dispersions on how much he wanted to win. Soda Popinski, I don't know if he wants to win so much, because he's just drinking so much soda. It's not vodka at all. It has nothing to do with him being Russian. Shut up. Why would you think that? He just likes soda. He likes sugar and caffeine. Soda Popinski is a lighthearted guy. He thinks everything's pretty fun. And I can't fault that. Though maybe when you're getting in the ring with Little Mac, maybe it's time to get serious. With the right timing, you can get star punches off of Soda Popinski. When he does his little uppercuts, if you delay for a second, you'll surprise him with your counter punch. You only get one counter punch, but it will be for a star. Oh, surprise jab. Soda Popinski mixing it up. That's what you gotta do to beat Little Mac. Just doing the same punches over and over again? He's gonna learn those patterns. Don't know why others can't figure that out. You do have to mix things up. But it is not helping Soda Popinski out too much. Soda Popinski was, is always a guy who I think a lot of people have trouble with because his patterns are so different from everyone else that you would have fought up to this point. Just like the way he moves and the delay on his punches is kind of weird. He can't drive. He's just drunk so much soda. He's so full of sugar right now, he can't get behind the wheel. Don't ask him to. So a lot of people do have trouble just because of how unusual he is compared to everyone else you would have fought at this point. But I think he was always my favorite, uh, my favorite character from the game. Just the way he's, his design looks. I don't know why. I would play a, a game starring Soda Popinski. Why doesn't Nintendo bring this guy back into his own franchise? 
Or just so, you know, make a little little game on the eShop for the 3DS, something like that. Just leaving money on the table. Seriously, Nintendo has a large roster of memorable characters that could be in all sorts of games. Soda Popinski, much more famous than the majority of video game characters in any respect, really. All the characters from this game are. Soda Popinski should be in Smash 4? Yeah, any of these guys could be in Smash 4. Okay, Bald Bull. Not to be outdone, he has worked his way back up through the ranks to meet Little Mac once again. Except he's tougher this time than he was before. He's mastered the art of not getting knocked down unless we actually hit him with a star punch. You would think that this would be a valuable skill that everyone else would want to learn as well. Just, you know getting punched a lot, just don't fall down. Bald Bull's the only one to have mastered this particular skill. Bull going to the well once again. His famous finisher bull charge works so well for him, but Little Mac, I mean, he's Little Mac's just the right size to get that body blow on. I mean, I can understand that no one else would be, but Little Mac can just get right in there. Bald Bull just wanted to, a second chance, just wanted another shot at taking down Little Mac. Just like everyone else, he was not able to do it. At some point, though, you have to think that Little Mac is no, no longer the underdog when he beats everyone, right? It's sort of a John Cena sort of thing. When he wins all the time, the odds are no longer against him, are they? Don Flamenco, how did he do this? I don't understand how Don Flamenco got up all the way up here in the world circuit. He did so poorly in the minor circuit, yet here he is. He outranked Bald Bull. How did he do that? How did Don Flamenco counter the bull charge? With dance? Maybe. He seems conf he, he still seems confident in his dancing. But Don Flamenco does mix things up now. Does these straight jabs? Try to give us these hooks, and it just keeps just keeps doing that, really. Don Flamenco trying to time it to try to catch Max sleeping. Oh, okay, now he's going back to his dancing flamenco punches. They work just about as well as they did the first time, Don. I'm sure it's hard to separate with your signature finisher punch, but, you know, when it never works, maybe you should stop using it. This time, however, we cannot infinitely, infinitely punch Don Flamenco in the face until he falls down. He's learned to resist being punched in the face over and over again. Pizza Pasta was Don Flamenco's name in the arcade version? No, that was someone else. Pizza Pasta, I think, was a unique character that is not in this game. I think. Besides, Pizza Pasta, that wouldn't make sense. Don Flamenco... Oh, we're going to round two. Don Flamenco's from Spain. Pizza Pasta would be from Italy. But I think that was a completely other character. 
Uh, it's a shame. But Don Flamenco, despite his romantic tendencies, may, you know, maybe he shouldn't be a boxer if that's what he wants. Maybe he should just be a professional dancer. Maybe he should be going to theater, opera, something like that. Seems to be more his taste. I mean, getting punched in the face over and over? You wouldn't think a hopeless romantic like Don would be really interested in that. Now that we're in round two, he's just going to keep doing this. If this goes long enough, he'll go back to the, to the jabs and the hooks. We'll see if this ends before that. Some fun sounds going on. Still don't know why everything sounds distorted. Because it wasn't when I was trying out this emulator before the stream. Oh well, I guess we're just gonna have to... We're gonna have to go through, win the titles, and fight in the dream fight with distorted sound. Next up is Mr. Sandman, and this is generally where the game gets harder. Difficulty goes up a lot for the last three competitors in the game. But you know, it's been... Yep, it's been just about a half an hour. So I think we'll just pause it right here. And we'll come back in a few minutes to continue on with Mike Tyson's Punch-Out and try to defeat the World Circuit, win the title, and go on to Mike Tyson back in a few minutes.